my name is Ajay Goga. Uh, I have studied architecture in Jawaharlal Nehru Technology University in Hyderabad and uh, pursued my furniture design at an ID. Uh, today I would like to take you through uh, my design journey of how I started into the world of, I mean, how I uh, really got into the world of design and uh, the projects which I have done with various studios and people. So I would like to really talk about my works and also give some annotations about what I feel about design. So I come from Hajbar, uh, it's also known as Pearl City. Uh, and uh, interestingly, apart from Hajbar Biryani, I think the place has very much uh, interesting places, monuments and uh, museums, uh, which have really inspired me a lot to uh, take a look into the world of art. So I make a point that I visit these places uh, once in a year. So, um, and uh, in architecture, I mean, uh, it was, it was something new for uh, me, I mean, which I, uh, the spaces, the designs were totally new for me. So, uh, one tutor asked us to visualize a dream house. So, this was my uh, concept for a dream house, which uh, I vaguely formed something at uh, one point of time. So, uh, a dream house for me is something which can stay on land, fly in the air and float on the water. So these are some vague con concept sketches which I have done, uh, which doesn't have any functionality to it, but it's more of a conceptual and visual thinking what uh, inspires us. And uh, the core strengths uh, for me, I think, is uh, the architecture and design, you know, which, uh, which, is, uh, which is at the base of everything I do. So I started uh, pursuing different professions and I got into photography and illustrations and uh, been using as a tools for explaining or communicating a product or space. So this philosophy done at my uh, hostel uh, with my friend. So I think this represents uh, what uh, my interests are. So uh, then I was fortunate to get into an ID and uh, I, I had a completely different uh, take on materials and processes and I was uh, at an intersection where design and technology uh, has a lot to do with my uh, career option. So uh, in the initial stages uh, during furniture design, we uh, were exploring uh, concepts uh, based on simple furniture design. So this was uh, a quick a random thought which came to my mind uh, when I went to the uh, market of Ahmedabad. So this is the jute furniture which I uh, thought, you know, the rolls could actually be slid into a case and then could be used as a furniture. I mean, it was a simple uh, expression which I which crossed my mind suddenly. So in the way I was also ex uh, exploring my illustrative skills and developing my conceptual ideas. So there was a project uh, where uh, uh, we were, uh, uh, where I was exposed to the market uh, study and user research and it was a complete systematic approach of uh, deriving a product. So uh, the, the, uh, the market I looked at the vegetable market vendors where they had some problem areas due to space constraints and also for the display of the vegetables. So uh, this was a rough concept which I realized and uh, done a prototype to understand the limitations of the product. Though it's a 1 to 2 scale prototype, uh, I could, uh, I could uh, see the practicalities and how the cart uses. I mean, it, 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 uh, it works on a simple principle of folding things and uh, spreading things. So in this closed system, you can actually move the cart and in the open space, you can actually display the stuff. And also you can uh, put all your vegetables inside the cart and take your home. So, and then comes the form explorations where uh, the materials played a major role in how I derive forms. So this was a simple polygon uh, form which were unfolded to make it something more functional, like a chair. So this was a laser cut, uh, acrylic and laser cut uh, technique which I used to form this and that was a paper and hand cut uh, techniques. So it was a time when uh, we were actually getting more into the materials and processes and uh, I was looking at most of the materials of how to use and things. Also looking at inspirations from the nature, this was inspired by a snake jaw. So uh, the flexibility of the jaw has been converted into something more functional. Though it's a rough concept, an idea of uh, transforming a table into a chair and then 
to something into a more relaxing mode sort of form so uh, it was inspired totally by the snake jaw and the flexibility of the jaw and how it stretches and things also we had few workshops which are based on indian design so there were so many cultural influences uh, as a child i mean uh, i used to spend most of time in the village so uh, i had an opportunity to have these objects around me and something which stuck stuck me is a uh, chakki is a stone crusher which is used to uh, crush dal and wheat so uh, i applied the same thought uh, to a souvenir uh, which is as simple as a salt and pepper thing so uh, the basic idea is when you rotate it clockwise you get salt and when you rotate it anti clockwise you get pepper so it's the same idea which is translated into a product and uh, used as a souvenir and then i had a chance to get into animation uh, which is uh, graphic design and animation have always been always been my interest and uh, so uh, we had a, a small open elective with uh, shaker mukherjee's an animation department so uh, we had a theme called illusions of life so i have uh, portrayed some of my inspirations and uh, take it daily daily life so i made few animations a stop motion so this is nothing but a tree uh, which was empty but uh, when it's filled with um, when when a group of birds were sitting on that it look it felt like the tree is filled but uh, and a sudden moment the whole transformation happened and i was also trying some new techniques of converting things and transforming into a, a new mode well after my nid i had a chance to get into a product design from studio abd where uh, the philosophy was a more of a craft and technology based products so i was uh, fortunate enough to work in uh, see this products and had time in interactions and and uh, this is the time when i really explored the craft part of india so i have been to uh, various uh, indian uh, waste craft uh, sectors like jaipur Uh, this is a jaipur blue pottery and uh, that is a hand block done in sanganer in jaipur so i uh, work closely with the craftsmen and seeing uh, the way they do uh, and observing the processes and try to apply the same thought in my design so these are some of my explorations initially when we were asked to come up with some table top forms so this was uh, inspired by uh, the samudra mantan the indian mythological story uh, where the Uh, the gods and demons have a take on this uh, uh, each other when they face each other but it was something uh, uh, which which really uh, made this uh, the forms elegant and uh, because i was new to the world of product design so i was trying to apply the same uh, thoughts into the products and then the craft and technology these are the products designed by uh, abhijit banso my boss so uh, this is the intersection of uh, the rural craft and uh, also taking the indian stories into context and making them more a lifestyle based places uh, so uh, the left one is a flower vase it's called digoti it's inspired by the fest- uh, the indian um, festivals where the piercing happens so it's a magnet attached to the end of the glass so it you can actually pierce the uh, uh, the whole product into that so these are some of the inspirations which i initially took and uh, we uh, had a look at uh, we had a product uh, project where we looked at the complete packaging experience and the branding feel so this is something uh, very new for me but uh, we had applied the same indian philosophies into the the product packaging this is for a local biryani uh, uh, starter so here we looked into the indian spices of what makes biryani so special so we have come up with some spices and some illustrations which could really translate into the complete branding to the logo and to the packaging and then uh, extending it to the complete interiors and feel of the store where we got the craft techniques into uh, the picture so this was a bangalore based uh, food takeaway and then uh, we had a project where we uh, we had to do a, a book design for um, uh, rashmi bansal uh, she has written a book on the aravi and the entrepreneurs who 
prevail there. So um, this was a new project for me and where I uh, looked at illustrations as my forte. And then uh, I conducted a few design workshops in Kolkata to design MSME clinic and uh, make aware of the surroundings where they work and how they uh, use the tools and ergonomic issues. So we tried to resolve few quick uh, problems there. It was a one week workshop which we had there. And at home I like craft, doing uh, and experimenting with uh, different medium and techniques. So this is a random thought which, I, which came to my mind. And then few other, uh, can I continue? Yeah, so uh, these are some of the products which uh, I do for fun, you know, using it and uh, I, I feel illustrations is something which, which comes very natural to me and uh, I try to uh, uh, use it and illustrate everywhere, wherever possible. So these are some of the humor based stuff uh, which is done in the paper. It's a simple paper cut which makes the product more meaningful. And this is a take it minimal art, uh, inspired by the retweld uh, paintings. So it is a Ganesha which are uh, done with the same colors and techniques. So uh, travelogue is something which I always keep with me and uh, I do illustrations uh, wherever I go and I try to capture the, the essence of the products and the architecture and uh, I keep a note of everything uh, so that I, I reflect it back to in my products. So, this was a humpy visit. So these are very quick sketches. Uh, 